Something, take it. That's what I said. A hungry eagle does not attack a herd of buffalo. Yeah, that's why you Indians are going to lose everything you ever got. Butterfly, son of chief. Tell me how us eagles are going to get our claws into all that good stuff down there. There are too many. For a yellow belly. Even a wolf does not attack a herd. You and your fables. A sick one will stray from the herd. Yeah. Yeah. Traveling west is no excuse for you to act like a barbarian. I'm fed up with the stinking west. Daughter, a lady doesn't use such language. I'm no lady any more than these, these dirty-handed, filthy-fingernailed things are gentlemen. I told you to keep your voice down. Now you come back into this wagon, or I'll... You'll, you'll what? Spank me? <laughs> Margaret, you know your father wouldn't do such a thing. It stinks, it stinks. Just because you're a failure doesn't mean that I have to live with these, these dirty people and smelly horses. <laughs> smelly horses, I hate them. I hate you. I hate you. You'll be sorry. You wait and see. You'll be sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Turn you inside out and you're yellow. You're half a hundred grounds, Cherokee, Ned. Because you're better than halfway there. You got more whiskey in your veins than Cherokee. <laughs> you raise your hand to me again, you'll join your ancestors in happy hunting grounds. The eagle will not go in the hole for the rodent. Eagle. fly. Up, Charlie, I want to move as soon as we can. There must be an easier way to make a living in this. I'm sure if there was, you would have found it. Now get going. Stop laying down on the job. Laying, that's it. Chickens, Bill, they do all the work. What? You raise ham and I'll raise chickens. What are you mumbling about? I got it. I found the answer. I'm going to wring some necks if you don't get to work. Chickens, that's it. I don't know what's bothering him. Man, his coffee will drive us all of the chickens. <laughs> Major Adams? Oh, good morning, Mr. Hamilton. My daughter has disappeared. Well, when did this little problem present itself? Last night. Well, so this morning you've decided it's a big enough problem to share with me, huh? Normally, I wouldn't bother you. In the city, we know where to look for her. Oh, she's done this before then, huh? 
She's just a highly strung young My girl. wife has indulged her from the moment she was born. And in return for our giving her everything, she returns my paternal affections. Well, I appreciate your problem, folks, but I'm sure that your little daughter will stop her sulking as soon as we start to move, if not before. You don't understand. Marie-Louise, contain yourself. Uh, I, I don't seem to have seen much of your little girl lately. What's her name? Uh, Maggie, is it? Margaret. Margaret? I'm sure that Margaret's no different than a hundred other girls that have been on this train. I realize that it's a difficult adjustment for a city-bred young girl to make, but somehow they all make it. If we were in the city under the same circumstances, I wouldn't bother you. But out here in the wilderness... You assured us when we agreed to come that you'd do everything to make this a safe journey. When you agreed to come, Mrs. Hamilton, you make it sound like I twisted your arm. Just tell me, do you intend to do your duty? Need I remind you that you have been sufficiently reimbursed for your services, which up until now seem to require no more than your following the same old ruts of the other trains? Mrs. Hamilton, do you, do you have any idea where your darling child might be hiding? She took a horse. That much we know. I'm sure she's off there somewhere in your hills. My hills? She'll have caught her death of cold. She didn't take her shawl or gloves. Oh, she didn't take her shawl or gloves? What a shame. A fine, well-bred young city girl being caught out there in the brush by a predatory animal without her white gloves. Oh. If I knew the way of animals, I wouldn't ask you to do us this service. The way of animals? Well, I'll tell you about the way of animals. There isn't a rattlesnake or a four-legged beast out there that wouldn't run before your daughter sees them. You're just saying that to reassure us. No, I'm not, Mrs. Hamilton. That's the oh. truth. But there are two-legged animals out there that would put any self-respecting wolf to shame. Beasts? Savages? Men. I'll hold you legally responsible for the safe return of my daughter. Legally responsible? What about the hundreds of people on this train? What about their wagons and their goods that I'm leading down the same old rut? Just because that pampered daughter of yours decides to throw a tantrum, I'm supposed to stop the whole outfit and go fetch her? But if those savages catch her... She's only an innocent young girl. She doesn't know what she's doing. She's got to grow up. Marie-Louise, will you please stop it? You know as well as I do that our precious, innocent young daughter is too smart to go where she can't be found. <laughs> so stop carrying on. <laughs> Remember, Margaret wants us to suffer. Well, I refuse to play into her hand. Well, you let her get away with it before. This time you go fetch her. Horace, you're not going out there to face those wild men. Oh, you please stop sniffling. It's your fault. I have to gamble my very life. I've been all up and down the line. They're ready to roll in time you are. Tell them to hold up. We're not rolling. Yes, sir. Bill, do you know how long ago McCullough left? Yeah. Not rolling? What's the matter with you, Major? You're getting like an old woman. You can't make up your mind whether you're coming or going. You know all about women, Charlie? Major? Oh, no, sir. No. Flint left to bot sun up. I can get him back in two or three hours. Well, go get him. As soon as Bill and Flint get back, we pull out. Yes, sir. If you expect a fee for what you may consider extra services, I'd like to go on record Horace, right here and now. I just wish that you were ten years younger and fifty pounds heavier you'd pay through the nose. I prefer you're not addressing me by my Christian name. Horace, please contain yourself. Oh, you please mind your own business. No wonder our daughter is so impossible. The apple never falls far from the tree. Oh, I knew this day would come. I've never been so chagrined in all my life. My dear mother told me. She warned me time and time again. That if I married a foreign cultured woman, it would be the ruination of my life. <laughs>
Well, Major, I understand that one of your lambs has gone astray. No, nothing like that. We're just resting the wagons till you two got back. Oh, I told him about the girl being missing. Thought he might have seen some sign over this morning. Well, get everybody ready to roll. Here you go, Flint. Oh, thanks. Well, did you see any sign of her? No, I don't think so. You don't think so? Well, did you or didn't you? Well, I saw fresh tracks of a half a dozen horses, maybe, but... Wild? Not unless horses have started drinking whiskey out of bottles. Renegades, huh? Yeah, but I wouldn't worry about them. We're pretty strong. Too strong for them to hit us. Well, I don't imagine they'll go out of their way to avoid Maggie Hamilton. She sure picked a fine time to play hide-and-seek with her folks. Maggie Hamilton, that's uh, the little blonde with the odd look in her eye? Well, I just didn't bother to notice the odd look in her eye. You just get her back here before she finds some trouble to get herself into. You know, in this country, if she wants to make it difficult, it'll take me several days to find her. So it'll take several days. Just get her back here. Oh, and by the way, you might tell the young lady with the odd look in her eyes that if it makes her happy to upset people, she ought to be gall darn happy. Well, now, wait a minute. Is there anything more you can tell me? That's all I know. Maybe you better talk to her folks. Maybe you can get more sense out of them than I did. <laughs> As far as I'm concerned, she will ride in the wagon the rest of the trip. This time it may be months before I will forgive her or deign to speak to her again. You're right, of course, Horace. But couldn't you wait and punish her when we get to San Francisco? It's so hard to get along out here in the wilderness. We need every bit of comfort we can give each other. She gives me nothing. And unless she learns to have humility and begs me for consideration, I will not forget how she caused me to suffer in front of that Philistine Adams, that Prussian pompous stable hand. He said there were horrible men out there. Supposing they catch her before she makes up her mind to come back? You can blame it on her foreign blood. I've told you if it wasn't dominated, it would be her ruination. Is this the uh, Hamilton wagon? I am Horace Jurist Hamilton. Oh, howdy, I'm Flip McCullough. I haven't met you, I scout for the wagon train. You want to tell me that my daughter has come out from the rock she's been hiding behind and refuses to ride with us? No, I want to tell you that the Major's asked me to go find her before she gets in any real trouble. So if you'd be obliged to tell me where she could be, well, I'll get on with the job. I'm pleased to see that Adams realizes I meant it when I told him I would hold him legally responsible for her physical well-being. Legally responsible? You mean you're going to sue him if I can't bring her back? I would, certainly. You are her father, aren't you? I'll remind you to keep your station. You'll know it's Margaret. She has on a turquoise print dress with lace on the bodice. I don't want to upset you, ma'am, but have you any idea the kind of trouble she might get into? If you expect to extort a fee from me for your menial services by dramatizing your task, I will remind you that we have been through this before and we are not to be duped like hysterical parents. You mean your daughter's in the habit of running off? Since she was a little girl. Her first governess made the drastic mistake of treating her return as though she were a precious jewel. Just what do you expect for your services? Well, you know more about this problem than I do. Uh, how much do you figure your daughter's worth? What do you earn as a scout? Fifteen dollars a month. Then I'll pay you no more than fifty cents a day. Wagons, ho! She never goes far. She'll be just out there behind one of those rocks. Would you be kind enough to see she wears her gloves and her shawl? Yes, ma'am. And don't treat her like a precious jewel. That's what started this whole idiocracy. You do, but I won't pay you for your troubles.
going to leave you right here. That's a piece of a woman's petticoat, and my name ain't Sam Bass. How do you figure that got there, laughing boy? What do you think, Yellow Cloud? One of your uh, happy hunting ground ghosts playing games? Somebody come from wagon train. Somebody. I ain't no Indian scout, and I can tell you that somebody's a female, or I don't know my females. <laughs> <laughs> what else does the black sheep of the Cherokee Nation read? Woman does not belong here. She does not know how to drink. That's the best kind. <laughs> <laughs> Which way did she go? I'll give you a, a lesson in the females that you can add to your tribal lore. This female wanted to be found. How do you like that for sign reading from your great white father? You don't believe me, huh? Well, follow her. I'll show you. Woman's sick. No good. Bad medicine. <laughs> I'll be. Yellow Cloud, the Royal Cherokee is afraid of an unhappy female. <laughs> Come on, brave nose. Lead us to bad medicine, and I'll show you how she's worth more than a bag of gold. Oh, we wouldn't want whoever she left this for to get lost now, would we? Even you can figure this out, Chief Yellow Dog. Uh, two heads are, are better than one. Put this back. Come on, or we'll lose you. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone who eats grass has to be stupid. What a ridiculous creature you are. You let people ride you, kick you, anything. You have legs to kick with, why don't you use them? You know what I'd do if I were a horse. All those 
those people just to catch little old me. I'm going to give them a run for their money. not bad looking considering she's getting prettier too I mean, she don't belong to somebody on the wagon train who can afford to buy her back she'll get sure enough pretty as the days add up <laughs> you better keep your mouth shut before you lose the rest of your teeth women worse than whiskey for making trouble well, what do you know the son of the chief of the Cherokees is afraid of women too <laughs> One woman, six men, trouble, sick woman, bad medicine. You got your arithmetic wrong. Five men, one yellow-bellied Indian. <laughs> <laughs> Indian woman gets sick with meanness. Medicine man beat the devil out of her. She not die, she good woman. Well, if you got more than one, I suppose she can afford to beat the hide off in her. She's better trading material for what we need off the wagon train than a bag full of gold. We've been needing a lucky break, and she's it. She is evil spirit. So what are we, the answer to a mother's prayer? <laughs> <laughs> She'd been a good girl and stayed with a wagon train. We'd still have no easy way for getting what we want. So she bites a little, so? So? We bite her back. <laughs> <laughs> There's more than one way to skin a pool cat. <laughs> Don't Indians have funny bones? You afraid to laugh? <laughs> I don't want to make you laugh. You want it? Laugh! There's <laughs> more than one way to skin a pole cat. <laughs> <laughs> And don't you forget it. All right, now we better get some sleep. We got some horse trading to do tomorrow, and we gotta be sharp. Uh, Slim. Put a blanket on the filly, but uh, uh, watch out. She bites. <laughs> she bites, huh? This will keep you warm, honey. You need any help, just call for a slip. Night.
willing to be a nice fella and keep you company if you promise to behave yourself. You'll be sorry. You wait and see. My family are important people. You wouldn't spoof me now, would you? You'll be sorry. He'll ask me what he should do to you, and I'll tell him to hang you. Who's he? Does he ride a white horse? Maybe. Yeah, maybe he carries a long spear like in the fairy tales, huh? <laughs> Oh, honey, we're both grown people. Fairy tales is for kids. Now, why don't you make it easy on yourself and uh, let me untie you from this log. What do you say? Look, honey, it's again my nature to treat any gal the way I done you. If you hadn't taken that bite out of my hand, we might have got off pronto to be right good friends. All you have to do is promise that you behave yourself and I'll untie you. What do you say? All right. What's a nice gal like you do wandering away from her folks? If you want to talk, we'd better move further away from the others, unless you're anxious to wake them up. I knew you and me were alike. Someday. Him and Sam are out there in the woods fighting over that girl. Indian. They're like snakes. And they're like bears, too. Sam better watch himself out there. They're fantastic. You get their arms around you like a grizzly bear, and they squeeze to break your backbone if you're not careful. Did I ever tell you how I lost these teeth? For the Indian. The way he works, I've seen him. This guy came up to me, had one of them tomley hawks in his hand. He swung at my scalp. I ducked. Only I ducked the wrong way instead of going this way. I went this way, and that's where I got it. Cracked him right there. Took a run.
didn't even have enough sense to shorten the stirrups. Probably lying around here someplace with a broken neck. that water that's all you need right now you've made me suffer enough already I've made you suffer you know my name you must be sent by my parents to save me you just can't imagine what I've been through because of you because of me give me that water oh you're a bore and I'll never forgive you give it to me you you I'll take it easy miss Hamilton You've been through a lot and you've got a right to be upset. But if you just listen to me, everything will be all right. I want more water and I'll not listen to you. You don't get any, not now. Oh, it's just like my parents just send a brute to help me. Did you stand up? And your horse is a beast. Did they hurt you? Well, of course they did. How would you like to be tied up and gagged? Oh, come on, don't dramatize it. You weren't gagged when I found you, and it looks to me like you're able to travel. I was gagged, and if you'd done what you were paid to do and got here sooner, you would have seen how they treated me. I'll apologize later. Get on your horse. You do that again and I'll a lot more than gag you. Aren't you the scout from the wagon train? That's right. I've heard about you. Yeah, well, I've heard a lot about you, too. You think you can just make women fall at your feet? Well, you're not going to have your way with Margaret Hamilton. Come on, Maggie. Who are you calling, Maggie? This mare. now. I'm tired and hungry. So am I. When will we get there? Um, uh, not by tonight. You must be lost, Mr. Scout. The name is McCullough. How can it take two days to go what I did in one? Because the wagon train isn't standing still. Well, if you think I'm going to spend a night out in the wilderness with you... <sighs> Come on, Maggie. Look at that beautiful rabbit! This is our dinner.
You awful scout, you. You're no gentleman. No one's ever going to accuse you of being a lady. Oh, I hate you. I've never seen anyone suffer so much trying to prove that they hated everybody. You'll be sorry. You'll see. You'll be sorry. I'm sorry already. Now, come on, little girl. Get on the horsey warsey and we'll go fix it, suppy wuppy. I won't eat. I hate you. I, I hope I die. I'm not going to go. I hate you. All right, come on now. The fun's over. Get on the horse. Don't you come near me. Suit yourself. Share it with you.
I'm not going back to that wagon train. Give me that gun. You aren't going to take me back? I said give me that gun. Stay right where you are. I'll use it. You don't promise not to take me back, so help me. I'll use it. You're not a child. I want you to act your age. Don't try me, Flint. I know my own mind. I'm not going. Why not? They'll laugh at me. I hate their silly grins. I'm not going. Maggie, you're either a good person or a bad one. You've got to make up your mind. Which do you want to be? If I kill you, it's going to be your fault. You're going to grow up all the way, right now. about time. Yep. It's about time. Good night. satisfied you had your mother near frantic for a man who's supposed to know his way around the wide open spaces you certainly took your own good time finding one little girl well i found the little girl right off mr hamilton it was the big girl that took all the time what now if you think you're going to get more money from oh, me for no, your not services at all. You... not at all as a matter of fact i think that it's uh, i who should thank you for everything good night Father. I'm sorry. Why? Why, Margaret Hamilton, I... I do believe you've finally grown up. Mm -hmm. 